Wag yung kayong magkadisgrasyahan tayo niyan. Sinasabi ko yung madidisgrasya kayo. At madidisgrasya kayo. Hindi ako urong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. Good morning, Malacanang Press Corps. Happy Monday. Let's now have Presidential Spokesperson, Harry Roque. Uh, magandang umaga, Pilipinas, and good morning to the ladies and gentlemen of the Malacanang Press Corps. First and foremost, contrary to what Joma Season said, the President is fine and well in Davao, participating in Kadayawan. He will have a public appearance tomorrow with the um, League of Cities in Cebu City. No? As usual, um, um, Joma Season does not know what he talks about. How would he know about the state of the president, the state of health of the president when he is in far away the Hague, Netherlands? No, not the Hague, but uh, I think another city in the Netherlands. Um, likewise, we thank uh, Secretary Lisa Massa for her invaluable services to the government for the past two years, even as we, exp we express our regret uh, with her decision to leave government. No, the decision that she cited in her letter of resignation is the cancellation of peace talks. Again, we maintain the president will only have peace talks with the communists if it is in the Philippines, if they will stop collection of revolutionary taxes, if they will momentarily, while peace talks are ongoing, commit themselves to um, um, refrain from uh, resuming the insurgency and will stay in a designated camp where, the, uh, where President Duterte has promised that he will provide for their provisions during dependency of the peace talks. In any case, uh, contrary to what uh, Lisa Massa said, peace talks will continue, but on a local level. Good news, of course, we, we have a bronze medal in the ongoing Asian Games, and this is for the Taekwondo Pumsai. How do you pronounce that? Pumsai, no? And we congratulate Dustin Jacob Melia, Jordan Domingos, and Rodolfo Reyes Jr. Likewise, the women's, um, the women's team also of Taekwondo Pumsei won also a bronze medal for the country. We congratulate Juvenile Faye Crisostomo, Rina Babanto, and Jana Dominique. We wish the rest of the Team Philippines the best of luck. Laban Pilipinas. Um, Businesses can now access business registration information from different LGUs at one portal known as project1.ph. The portal is part of Project One, One Portal, One Form. One number of the Department of, the Tra of Trade and Industry and Anti-Red Tape Authority in cooperation with the New Zealand government. The portal, which was launched last August 16, is a website where all government units can upload their business registration requirements. Project One is part of President Duterte's administration's ease of doing business law, which aims to provide pleasant and effortless experience in doing business in the Philippines. We're pleased to announce that the Philippines recorded a growth of 7% in banana exports to Japan from January to May 2018, with a total of 679,967 metric tons. This is higher compared to the 634,191 metric ton in 2017 of the same period. No? Now, according to the uh, Filipino Banana Growers and Exporters Association, the country continues to be the major source of Cavendish bananas in Japan, contributing 80% of the market share. Pagkakaloob po ng Department of Agrarian Reform, ang farm machine na nakakalaga ng 17 million sa 13 agrarian reform beneficiaries organizations sa Ilocosur sa napakikinabagan ng mahigit na 300 na magsasaka. According to the Department of Agri Agrarian Reform, the farm equipment include 13 farm tractors and two units combined harvesters, which will help boost agricultural production and increase their income. Questions? Sir, i-welcome muna natin yung kaibigan ni Spokes from Basilan. Welcome sa briefing room. Um, question muna about Joma or this... Um, Joma, Pia Gutierrez. Sir, to be clear, what is the state of the president's health? He's, he's healthy. 
Earlier, I talked to Christine. There was a rumor that he fell ill during his uh, Lex Talionis affair. I talked to former Secretary Vit Aguirre, who was in the affair. He was fine. He stayed till 12. He was in uh, very high spirits. He enjoyed the company of his brothers in Lex Talionis. Um, I saw him last Friday. He invited me to go out. I begged off because I thought I could come home early only to find out that I would leave Davao at 3 in the morning because of the mayhem in Nea, and I was cooking myself thinking I should have gone out with the president instead. No? So he's fine, and you will see him again tomorrow in the, uh, in the League of Cities uh, um, convention in Cebu City. Sir, the president recently underwent a routine medical checkup. Will the palace um, make the results public? I will ask, but the president already said that he was given a clean bill of health. No? So that's actually making public the results of his uh, medical tests. And last na lang, sir, yung suppose po ni Attorney Joma Season, he mentioned um, something about the darkness of the president's face now. Uh, it bec it's becoming more apparent. And uh, some are saying baka daw it's a, uh, uh, a symptom of a uh, disease. Well, Joma Sison is a spent revolutionary, not a doctor. Let's not listen to him as far as medical condition is concerned. Thank you, sir. Any follow up? Other issue? Follow up? Uh, Christine. Naging lalaki na si Rose Novinario. Naging Raymond Tinaza na. Aka Rose Novinario. Okay. Yes. You said, sir, the president, I mean, in, we talked earlier, he's in Davao. Uh, in the next two weeks, is, is that what you're saying? Well, mm, um, he will be here briefly for the um, Araw ng Kagitingan. So he will be... Um, Kagitingan? Araw, araw ng... Ano, ano? Um, wait, wait, wait. National Heroes Day. Oh, um, so he will be here in National Heroes Day, which is uh, the... Kailan yun? Yes, National Heroes Day on the 27th. And then he'll go back. Yes. And then he'll go back to Davao after that. Because you said he's going to fly. Yes, and then his next public engagement will be on the 30th in Mandawe, Cebu. Again. So he'll be shuttling between Davao, Mandawe, Cebu, and Manila. Okay. May follow up? Ina. Sir, about the yung sinasabing darkening ng um, face ni Pangulo, because before he was, he's been open about the pain that he feels on one side of his face. Eh. It's supposedly, he said, because of you relating dun sa spinal injury from a motorcycle accident, and then it causes him pain here. Could it be that the president's pain, yun yung lagi niyang pinipindot also? I don't know. Maybe he was worsening? just not wearing powder. Normally, the president wears powder. Maybe there was just a photo taken of him without powder. No? So I, I don't see anything extraordinarily different from the color of the president's face. No? Okay. Pero yung, yung pain na sinasabi niya noon, na nararamdaman niya on that part of his face, how... Would you know? I don't know if he, maybe he told you anything about it. If it's bumabalik or worsening. Wala or naman what? po. It's migraine that he tells people about publicly. No, one time in a speech he said, "Oops, me migraine ako." No, that's about it. Mm -hmm. uh, may follow up, jo uh, Joseph Moro. Sa sabiing ko lang po dun sa mga kritiko ni Presidente, stop wishing him. <laughs> ill as far as his health is concerned. Kasi every time you wish him ill, lalo lumalakas, kasi lakas naman ang kabayo yung presidente, no? So please. Mm -hmm. So yung mechanism lang sa constitution about disclosure about the president's health, no? Paano ba yun? Uh, should this be prompted by, di ba dapat ipapaalam niya sa cabinet and then they will discuss it so right now you don't see a need to follow the constitutional... Because I am not aware that the president is sick. There is no information that the president is sick. I saw him last Friday. He was fine. And it's only Monday today. It was just a weekend that I did not see him. Um, Sek Vit Aguirre saw him the following day, a Saturday. He's fine. So I, I don't see any reason why people, why I don't even understand why Joe Masison said he was in coma. No? He's in faraway Netherlands. How would he know? Mm. Okay. 
No, last time this um, issue crop up, you said that this is a crime to spread this kinds of news. Diba dati, yung nasa probinsya ka, sir, and then you said spreading... When you attribute uh, a disease to a person, yes, diba? Isn't that libel? Mm. Okay, um, other issue, Marisa Halili. Hi, sir. Good morning, sir. What was the initial reaction of the president when he learned about the resignation of Lisa Maza? Is this something that he already expected? I do not know because, as I said, the last time I saw him was uh, last Friday. I have not seen him, and I only saw the letter of Lisa Maza this morning. I don't really know when this was received. This is dated 20 August, so it must have been today, no? So it must have been today only. I have not seen the president today. But how big a loss is uh, Lisa Massa in the government? Well, I would say that, uh, you know, um, she had the, um, the trust and confidence of the president and she resigned. We always regret when people who enjoy the trust and confidence of the president leave their post, but I'm sure there will be other applicants to the post. Mm -hmm. As but I'm sure there's al already a very long list of individuals wanting to apply for the post vacated by Lisa Massa. Speaking of list of individuals, meron na po ba kayong inaay? Wala pa po siguro kasi kaka-resign pa lang today eh. Di ba? 20 August, no? Kaka-resign kaka pa lang today. I don't even know. Although this is uh, irrevocable, no? And does not need to be accepted by the President. No? May follow-up, Jinky? Um, oh, sige, Joma. Okay lang. Hi, sir. Balik lang ako kay Joma, sir. Um, with all these statements and brouhaha from that, um, from Joma, ano po yung masasabi ng Malacanang directly to him on on his critique on the president's health? Well, that's always wishful thinking on his part. But the president is here to stay. I don't know if he can say the same thing about himself and about his movement, the longest ra running insurgency in the world. No? Last, sir. Um, dahil dito wala talaga silang balak or tayo sa part ng Malacañang wala na bang balak na makipag um, areglo or somehow makipag balik ibalik natin yung friendship with Joma. Hindi ko po sinasarang pinto pero habang nag nagkakaroon ng mga guniguning ganyan si Joma Siso napakahirap naman makipag-usap sa kanya no. Um, may follow up or other issues. Celerina. Good morning sir. Regarding Lisa Massa uh, somehow relief na ba ang Malacanang kasi wala nang quote-unquote left-leaning official sa administration? So, Ivasco is a known friend of the president. Wala naman pong ganun. Uh, as I said, we regret her departure. Um, we wish her the best. Uh, another issue, Pedro? Wait lang. May Lisa Masa? Uh, Deo de Guzman? Microphone, please. Morning, Secretary. So, uh, hindi niyo po ba nakikita na wasted opportunity ito para kay Liza Massa and the leftist group para patunayan sa public na merong magagawa ang uh, left-leaning uh, personalities when they are in position? The president gave them that opportunity and she decided to leave. No? Wala naman nagpapaalis sa kanya. No? And um, in her letter, she says that ito nga, no? the decision was prompted by the by the developments, recent developments leading to the cancellation of the peace talks. No? So I don't know really why she had to connect the peace talks with her work in the National Anti-Poverty Commission. Tama ka, no? It would have been a perfect opportunity for the left to show that they can lead. No? And of course, National Anti-Poverty Commission is a very important uh, office in government. Yes, sir. Uh, and most especially, sir, poverty yung kanyang nililid. And then, uh, in her stint as the chairperson ng uh, NAPSI, uh, as, the, as far as the cabinet is concerned, meron po bang mga naipresenta na mga policies or changes ang, uh, si, ang NAPSI in her lead? Well, uh, in fairness to her, uh, lumabas naman yung mga surveys no, that the Filipinos rated themselves to be less hungry, no? At uh, lumabas din yung mga programa, although this one program was pursuant to a bill I filed in Congress, no, the feeding program, no, which definitely would have a positive impact on poverty. Sir, uh, la one last question. Uh, meron, meron po po tayong aasahan pa na isang na aalis na leftist group? Kasi meron pa isang natitire sa, ano, sa cabinet. Sino? Wala na siya. Matagal nang wala. Dole po, dole. Undersecretary Maglunsod. 
Well, uh, sa amin po, wala pong nagpapaalis sa kanila, but this is a voluntary act of Lisa Massa. Thank you, sir. Uh, Maricel, may follow-up ka? No more? Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> sir, sorry. Follow Balik lang kay Joma. Sir, what will convince Malacanang para re to release the medical documents of the president uh, to the public just so matuldo ka na yung issue about his health condition? Ano pa bang issue dyan? Sinasabi nilang coma, tapos bukas pupunta doon sa League of Cities. Ano pa ba document ang gusto ninyo? Di ba last time, sabi nyo rin, oh, pinapacheck ng mga desk ninyo, rinash daw sa ospital, wala na raw, unconscious. Sabi ko, lalabas yan, may public occasion yan, dalawa. So every time he appears in public, we're debunking reports that he's in coma. So why do you need a document to show that he's in perfectly good health when people have said that he's in coma and yet he will be around? So tomorrow, he will be there. And that's proof that he's not in coma. Sir, last na lang. Meron din kasing mga issues na nakikita daw si Presidente na medyo nanginginig yung, yung kamay. Is there a truth to that, sir? Kung nagiginig siya, nagiginig sa galit, lalo na doon sa issues ng korupsyon. Galit na galit talaga yon. If I were to tell you that on the day that he wanted the information released on uh, the Luna, it was a Friday, and he was calling me up she called me up thrice, which was unusual, and he was really emphatic about releasing the statement no, and having a really strong statement uh, uh, to announce the uh, termination and the fact that uh, there should be court martial proceedings. No? So he has been very aggravated by the issue of corruption because it came one after the other, no? Nayan Pilipino and Biluna. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, Salerina. On another issue, uh, regarding this arrest of three young lawyers, uh, there was this statement over the weekend by the CHR that it's an utter disrespect daw only, not only in the law profession but also of the constitutionally enshrined rights and it emboldens, emboldens other law enforcement agencies and puts at risk ordinary Filipino citizens. Um, do you share the same um, view with the CHR and if ever will there be any um, investigation or sanctions against this policeman? Absolutely not. I note that uh, General, um, the, um, not Elizar, but um, General Albayade has in fact awarded the policeman. No? Now, there are videos available on the internet and what happened. If you ask me as a law professor, they need, those three lawyers need a refresher course on criminal procedure. Lawyers have absolutely no involvement in an ongoing police investigation. Their role is when there's already a pending action in uh, um, the prosecutor's office. If there is anything that was wrong in the police investigation, then they can allege this either in the determination of probable cause or in the trial itself. Pero nagtataka nga ako, niski dito sa mga sini natin, kapag may police investigation, may police line. Mi yellow police line, ang problema naman wala ata tayo yellow police line dito sa Pilipinas, no? Kaya no, they should not even have been there. And what business did they have being in the area, being uh, where the the search warrant was being served without even identifying who their client was? That's ridiculous. You do not acquire a right to be in a police investigation just because you claim you to be representing a client that you don't want to divulge. Eh, paano pa ito, positive, na nakakuha ng shabu at kung ano ng mga droga, natural, material, kung sino yung may-ari ng bar, and they were concealing kung sino yung kanilang kliyente na di umano, one of the owners of the bar. Hindi ba talamang tama naman yung naging desisyon ng mga polis? Ang hindi pa na-capture dun sa video, of course, we don't know, it's the word of, of the lawyers as against the policemen, is talagang naghihimasok pa, pati dun sa inventa, inventory ng mga droga. But, as a law professor, I can assure you, in any police investigation, you can only observe. But certainly, you cannot interfere in an ongoing police investigation. Even on freedom of information, that's one of the recognized exceptions. Pag meron ongoing police investigation, the public don't even have the right to information, no? to find out what's ongoing. So sa akin, I've only seen one video, but from the video, it's apparent. They need a refresher course on what lawyers can and cannot do and the legal profession should, in fact, use this video to tell law students what they can and cannot do in the course of an ongoing police investigation. But, sir, yung asking for a warrant, uh, search warrant, na sinasabi nitong mga lawyers, uh, is that correct? Or It was shown. In fact, that's already the second operation in the same club. 
take note, in the first operation, it yielded positive for drugs, and it was closed by the Makati city government. But they wanted to open, apparently, the vault, so they got even a search warrant. And the information I got was the, 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 the lawyers were preventing the policemen from going to an upper floor where the vault was, and obviously they had the right to go to the upper floor because they had a validly issued search warrant. So when you prevent a police from effecting uh, the service of a search warrant, in my mind, that's really obstruction of justice. Ibang usapin kung walang search warrant. Eh, may search warrant eh. How about, sir, the constructive uh, possession? Is that correct? Well, hindi naman sila sinarge ng, ng constructive possession. Sinarge lang sila ng obstruction of justice. At hindi pa tapos, no? kinakailangan silang sumagot dyan. Wala namang immunity ang mga abogado for obstructing of justice, obstruction of justice. No? They have to answer for the acts. In addition to possible administrative remedies no? for possible violation also of the canons of professional responsibility. Remember, between policemen and lawyers, lawyers are held to higher standards. Validly issued warrant of arrest. Oh, why will you prevent policemen from ent entering or proceeding to an upper floor where the safe is supposed to be searched? I also thought constitutional law, pero mali, at least from the video that I saw. No? Masyado kasi mga bata. So ako naman, I'm appealing to the policemen, please show extreme patience. Dahil mga bata, they're overzealous too. No? They still have to learn the ropes. I understand one of them had just passed the bar. So come on. Habaan sana ang pasensya. Huwag nang palakihin. Okay, uh, Raymond Tinasa. Sir, uh, before my question, yung patanong lang ni Bella Carriazo. Uh, sabi daw ng Naga Council, naglabas sila ng resolution eh, na Manila, not Naga, hotbed of Shabu. You're coming to from the statement of the President na Naga is now a hotbed of Shabu. Ang aking statement po dyan, hindi na dapat pinag-aaksayahan ng government resources, ng pagod, ng panahon, yung mga ganyang statement. Kung sa tingin nila, mali ang Presidente, hindi hotbed of, um, anong tawag ni Presidente ulit? Shabu. Hotbed, hotbed of Shabu ang Naga. Patunayan nila. Labanan nila yung mga uh, nagbebenta ng, ng droga sa Naga at patunayan nilang hindi talaga hotbed of Shabu na Shabu free yung kanila mga bayan. It should be constructive, particularly on the part of public officers. Sir, on the issue of uh, Shaman Airlines, would the government demand or ask for a, at least a simple apology from Shaman Airlines? Three days na yung, ang kakapal ng mukha nila. Wala man lang silang uh, apology sa mga affected uh, passengers even there is an ongoing investigation of the incident. Isa po ako doon, no? Dahil nung... Uh, after the Hugpong affair, I was, um, my flight was at 9, which is why I told the President I can't go out with him. But I ended up boarding my flight at 3.30 and got to Manila even later, no? because we sat in the plane doing nothing. No? So I had a delay of about 10 hours. No? Um, it's not just an apology, apology that we will ask for. We're now conducting an investigation if there's any liability on the part of the Shaman air uh, pilot. That's why he has been asked not to leave the country. That's part of an ongoing investigation. Okay, thank you, sir. Pero tama po kayo. Hindi po dapat makalusot ng wala man lang, wala man lang apology. Pero tingin ko, it's more than apology because uh, we're now investigating if there's any kind of liability that we can attribute to the pilot. Joy, Joy, sir, follow up lang sa question ni Raymond. Sir, do you share the views of Senator Lauren Legarda saying that um, transport authorities are incompetent and inefficient dahil tumagal ng ilang araw yung cancellation of flights? Do you believe na kailangan po bang may matanggal o ma-dismiss na DOTR official because of what happened? I'm not in a position to um, judge the airport authorities because I myself was stuck in Davao. Ang napansin ko naman sa Davao, the public were very cooperative, walang mainit ang ulo, we were all tired, we were all sleeping in the floor. Wala naman po talagang nag-harumintado nag, uh, nag, uh, doon sa Davao. But that was Davao, hindi ko maintindihan kung ano nangyari sa Manila. No? We were all inconvenienced, pero ako naman, iniisip ko, sino ba namang gusto na mag magkaroon ng ganyang abria yung uh, Shaman Airline na yun, no? I'm sure no one wanted it. No? Pero perhaps uh, we should look into contingencies kasi parang kaya naman nagkagulo ang daming flights na dapat siguro kinancel na pero pinaantay pa rin yung mga pasahero no like yung flight ko 
siguro hindi na kami dapat nagantay ng seven hours. no Dapat yung kinansel na nila para nakabalik ako ko presidente, nakikain ako kung saan man si presidente. No? At na, nakapagsaya pa ako. No? Nagkaroon akong happy Friday, pero wala. I was just waiting kasi yung time na yon they could not tell me what time actually kami lilipad. So I could not leave the airport then for fear na baka naman ako maiwan. No? So siguro next time, better contingencies. Kung talagang may mga delays, eh dapat siguro the airlines and the airport authorities should already decide to cancel flights nang hindi na mag-ipon-ipon yung tao sa airport. Yun lang po naisip ko dyan. No? But of course, we welcome any form of investigation. Hindi naman po nangyayari itong madalas sa NEA, thank goodness. So we could always learn from this experience. Pero hindi naman po convinced sa Malacanang na may kailangan pong panagutin on the part of the government officials from DOTR. Humingi naman po ng uh, patawad na si uh, um, Secretary Tugade. No? Siguro naman po um, that counts for something. No? That no less than the Secretary of uh, Transportation has publicly apologized for the inconvenience caused to the public. Although it was not the airport official himself that caused the uh, inconvenience. It was the Shaman Air incident. Okay, Pia Gutierrez, microphone, Arch. Sir, sabi nga po nila, the incident highlighted the vulnerability of uh, Manila's infrastructure. Lalo na kung, uh, kunyari, nagkaroon ng, uh, like, the big one, for example, dumating. Uh, is the government looking to uh, improve the infrastructure in uh, NAIA, particularly, uh, siguro mag-add ng bagong, bagong runway if it's possible. That's on top of, of course, uh, improving other airports near Manila. I come ready with an answer because I called up Secretary um, Pernia. Um, of course, I expected you to ask this question. No? So the status is as follows. As far as the proposal of the Consortium of Seven is concerned, which is the upgrading of uh, NEA to include a new terminal building and a new runway, it has been endorsed by the OTR and it has been received by the ICC. Okay? As far as Bulacan is concerned, all approvals have been given except that there are still documentation to be finalized with the OTR and some of the documentation, documentation that still have to be finalized include the concession agreement. No? But as far as Bulacan is concerned, according to uh, Secretary Pernia, it should have been a go already no? because it should have been three months from the time that the ICC NEDA approved the, um, the um, proposal for the Bulacan Airport. No? Now, I think the um, Clark Airport has been awarded to um, Megawide, so it's in full blast. So ang mabuting balita po sa mga kababayan natin, magkakaroon na po tayo ng solusyon. No? Ang immediate solution, dahil inindulso naman po ng DOTR, yung panandali ang immediate improvement ng NEA 1, 2, and 3 magitan ng additional runway and additional terminal building. Ang, uh, ang medium-term solution, yung pagpapalawig po ng Clark para mag-augment sa NEA, at ang long-term solution, yung bagong, aeroplan, bagong um, airport po sa Bulacan. Sir, kailan matatapos yung bagong runway sa NEA? Well, ang alam ko po kasi they were given a concession period of anywhere from 12 to 15 years, so dapat madalian po yan. <coughs> Nadalian po yan because it's a stopgap measure. No? It defeats the purpose kung hindi ma-upgrade ka agad yung NEA 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. May follow-up sa ano, Joseph? Uh, okay. Sir, when you say that we are investigating the liability, criminal, no? Criminal liability? I think all or sorts of liability. I'm not actually an authority in aviation law, so I wouldn't know. Mm. But it can't be any different from the laws on tort, and it can't be any different from the laws on, uh, on our criminal laws on reckless imprudence, no, resulting to damages, no. Mm -hmm. So um, I think they're looking into it, and they will uh, conclude the report and take the necessary action against the pilot of the Shaman Air. We meaning what agencies? Against Government them? agencies. I'm sure it's the airport authorities, CAP, and uh, the OTR. Okay, last uh, one. Are you La other topics. Uh -oh. other. Sir, yun lang may statistics yata, matas yung rape cases sa Davao, and then followed by uh, Quezon City, I think, then Manila City Osambo. Any comments? Not familiar with the statistics yet. Perhaps tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Last question, Ace Romero. 
Sek, balikan ko yung sa Naga kasi part ng resolution ng Naga City na sinasabi in, na insulto daw sila dun sa pahayag ni President Duterte. They were citing the statement of Christian Frivaldo, head of the PDEA in Bicol, that the illegal drug situation in Manila is worse than in Naga. So tanungin ko lang, meron silang binabanggit na ganito. Ano naman yung proof kaya ni President Duterte for saying na hotbed yung Naga? I can only say that he, had, he has access to all available information that only a president has access to. Ang solusyon dyan, eh, sabi na nga ng Korte Suprema sa isang kaso, no? yung mga taong gobyerno should not be on your skin. Okay? The bomb to wounded feelings is a clear conscience. No? Uh, paraphrasing that case. No? But so kung talagang hindi siya hotbed for Shabu, Well, eh di hindi siya hotbed siya sa buo. Dapat huwag sila masyadong masaktan dahil alam nilang katotohanan. Baka naman batu-batu sa balangit. Ang tamaan ay huwag magalit. No? So, sa akin, focus all energies na lang in combating the drug menace. Will the President present any proof that Naga is indeed a hotbed of The President doesn't have to do that. Shabu. Why sec? Doesn't have to do that. He already has access to information. He said it. Let it be. Kasi di ba in the past nag-apologize din si President Duterte kasi di ba may mga mali din sa list. So, hindi But kaya... If he's wrong, he will apologize. Until he does, he stands by it. Thank you, Sek. Okay, thank you. And PC, uh, okay, Benji? Okay, so, wala tayong press briefing tomorrow because it's a holiday. I will see you on Thursday. Thursday or Wednesday? Thursday muna, tapos kung on a need-be basis, Wednesday. Ha? Okay. okay, thank you very much. Okay, maraming salamat, Presidential Spokesperson Harry Roque. Thank you, Malacanang Press Corps. Back to our main studio sa Radio Pilipinas and People's Television Network.